I'm sharing with you three delicious floor recipes so you can put that pumpkin to use and I'm very excited as this video is sponsored by iHerb. The three recipes are a pumpkin spice muffin, pumpkin spice latte and a pumpkin hummus butter bowl. Now of course it is spring in Australia but I know a lot of you are in the northern hemisphere and of course these recipes are great all year round. I've been shopping on iHerb for a few years now and my experience has been great and I'm always blown away by the fast shipping. I love to shop on there for things I can find more affordable compared to in-store in Australia or some products that I cannot find in Australia. iHerb carries over 30,000 natural products including a large range of vegan friendly products and they ship to over 150 countries. Orders are shipped from a climate controlled distribution center to always ensure the quality of their products and they have 24 seven customer service which is available in 10 different languages so they're always there to help if needed. From iHerb I chose a variety of quality organic herbs and spices and vanilla as these are going to add a great flavor to the recipes. The other products I chose are maple syrup, tahini, almond flour, coconut sugar, and quinoa. For the first recipe, I'm going to show you a pumpkin hummus butter bowl. I'm going to have a delicious creamy hummus, and then some roasted chickpeas, quinoa, and salad to go with it. To start, I'm adding quinoa to a sift and I'm going to rinse it very well. Then I'm going to pop it back into the saucepan, cover with enough water, and bring it to boil. Once it's boiling, pop on the lid and simmer for 15 minutes. To a bowl, add one cup chickpeas, garlic salt, parsley flakes, onion powder, pepper, and juice from half a lemon. Mix together, then spread the chickpeas out onto a baking tray lined with baking paper and bake for 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. For the hummus, add one and a half cups of chickpeas to a blender, half a cup of plain pumpkin puree, two tablespoons of lemon juice, quarter teaspoon cinnamon, quarter teaspoon pepper, one clove of garlic, two tablespoons of tahini. Now normally I dislike the taste of tahini, but this brand was really delicious, smooth and creamy and not overly bitter. Lastly, a sprinkle of garlic salt. Blend it until smooth. I also added in an extra tablespoon of tahini just to give it a bit more creaminess and it was perfect. Pop any extra hummus in an airtight container and store it in the fridge for a few more days. The next recipe I'm going to be showing you is a tasty pumpkin spice muffin. This one is gluten free, refined sugar free and oil free. And you can mix it up by adding in some chocolate chips if you like. In a large mixing bowl, add one cup of pumpkin puree, a quarter cup of coconut sugar, quarter cup of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a third cup of plant-based milk. Then whisk until smooth. Next, add in one cup of almond flour, one cup of buckwheat flour, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, a quarter teaspoon salt and half teaspoon baking soda. Combine well, and just to note, the almond flour will make this batter quite thick. If you like, you can mix in some chocolate chips or nuts. I didn't have any muffin liners on me, so I'm just using my silicon muffin tray, spread the batter evenly amongst it, topped with some extra chocolate chips, and then baked for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. third recipe which is a pumpkin spice latte. You can do this either warm or iced. I'm going to make it iced today because it is a little bit hot in here and both of the other recipes are quite warm. It's very simple so let's jump straight into it. To 250 ml of plant-based milk add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, half teaspoon of pumpkin spice and one tablespoon of maple syrup. Mix together, and if you have a milk frother, use that, otherwise make this entirely in a blender. Add some ice cubes to a glass, and then pour in the pumpkin latte mix. I topped it off with some extra frothy soy milk, 
and a sprinkle of pumpkin spice. And here are the three recipes. These pumpkin muffins are really delicious and very soft. If you would like them to be sweeter, I definitely recommend adding in a half cup of coconut sugar instead of a quarter. Then there's the pumpkin spice latte. I did mine ice and it's so tasty. I've never actually had a pumpkin spice latte before, but it's really good. It's the perfect flavor. Why have I never tried this before? And lastly, the pumpkin hummus butter bowl. This hummus is so creamy and has just a lovely taste. And then these chickpeas have a nice flavor from all the spices and herbs and a nice crunch to it. Aside from the products, I got to make these recipes. I also grabbed a few other things in my shop. I got some coconut butter, which is really creamy and great to add into baking. Some of my favorite quinoa macaroni. This one's gluten free and it's just really good tender texture when you cook it. Chia seeds because they're always good to have on hand. And this one I'm excited to try. It's a vegan sugar-free raspberry jelly. And lastly, I got some kombu, which I want to play around with in some recipes. Be sure to check the description box below this video to get links to all the products mentioned and the recipes. I'd love to hear how you like these recipes if you make them. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.